Hi guys, welcome back. Everyone had a good week, I hope. Um, <clears throat> Sunday again. Jeez, it comes around quick, doesn't it? So, today, I'm just going to do some deadlifts, but I'm not going to go that heavy. <clears throat> so, I was watching um, a professional whip guy. Um, he's, a, he's a massive deadlift. He's deadlifting up in the 700s. Um, so he was at um, the Arnold, not a, yeah, Arnold Expo, it was not an Arnold Classic in, in America, and they just had a little bit of a competition um, to see who could, who could do the most reps at 225 kilos deadlifts, which is, works out at 102.75 kilos, um, actually 102. Yeah, around that. So that's what I've got on the bar at the moment. Um, and I th and the record, these were much younger guys, they're probably in their early 20s, let's say. And the record, the skinny guy, skinny of the guy, got um, 56 reps. And the other guy that looked much, much more muscular got, um, oh, I don't know, he fell short anyway. So the skinnier guy beat him. So I thought it'd be a good challenge because um, I've never done that sort of reps deadlifting, but I thought it might be a good challenge uh, just to see how many I do get. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get that many, but it'll be fun and it'll be a good um, um, you know cardiac exercise plus all exercise and, and train my back. So it'll it'll be a bit of fun. Um, now they did have straps on. I don't normally wear straps, but to keep it fair for me, I'm going to put straps on, I'm going to wear the figure eights, um, otherwise I won't be able to tell if it was me not wearing straps and just going bare hands. Anyway, we'll, we'll give it a go, eh? see how many we get, I'll just set this up. Alright. I'll probably lose count, but anyway. Sixteen. Oh, Seventeen. Eighteen. Twenty. Twenty-five is enough for me. That's a lot of reps. I can really feel it in my lower back. Woo! Wasn't too bad though. Mind you, those guys were taking a a bit slower pace, so I probably went a bit too quick. Never mind. If you like my shirt, I bet the vegan's going to hate that. So, still, for 62, 25 reps is pretty good. Just got to let my heart catch up a bit. Woo. So, not bad for this old carnivore. So, 
I'm going to have a rest. Then I'm going to do a little bit heavier, but not so many reps. See you shortly. Mm -hmm. Hi guys. Well, I've just had a rest. So, I just played that um, video back that I was watching on the um, on the Arnold Expo, and I did my deadlifts in 60 seconds because I wanted to do a short about it too. So, um, I played back theirs, and there was something like two and a half minutes to get through their 56. So, their pace was a lot slower, so I should have paced myself because I just gassed myself out. So I reckon that's about equal. <laughs> anyway, I'll give it another go one day and I'll go a lot slower and see how we go. Anyway, I'm going to do a couple. Of, I've got 180 now, 180 kilos to lift, so. But I'm going to go back to chalk. I'm not real keen on the straps. Um, I'll just see if I can do a couple of reps. I'll be happy with a couple of reps. <laughs> At least I'm warmed up, so that's good. I should have got a little bit heavier. I might stick another. I like to try and get to 200 again. I'll give it a go. <coughs> well, I am pretty well gassed, so we'll see how we go. I forgot to put this short on as well. See if we can get a see if we can get a two hundred. Oh. Four hundred and forty something pound, eh? Two hundred kilos. week on my old age but I'm not so I'm promoting carnivore as you can see by the shirt um, it, uh, it's a good diet for um, growing muscles and muscle repair so as you know you, as you get older you need more protein so what better way to get protein than actually meat so if you want to grow meat on your body you've got to eat meat uh, not soy and that kind of shit. That's just not the right kind of protein. If you want to grow muscle, you got to eat muscle. And meat is muscle. Whether you're eating chicken, fish, pork, beef, any kind of meat. Eggs, eggs is good. Dairy is good. If you're allergic to dairy, don't don't have um, the lac lactose, but you can get lactose free dairy. Um, protein um, protein yogurts don't have a real lot of lactose in them. Got less 
just try and find the ones with less less sugar. It's the sugar that's that's no good. Um, so I'm maintaining my weight at 82 kilos since I've been carnivore, and I was always 89, 90. <clears throat> I dropped in a few weeks, maybe a month max, down to 82, and I've been 82 ever since. Uh, 12 months now, carnivore. This is my 12th month, <sighs> and um, feeling strong. As you can see, I'm not weak for my age, and um, yeah. So I don't have any. I've said this before in my other videos, just particularly to turn off this phone. Um, I've said this before in my own, on my other videos. Um, all the pain in my body from my knees used to ache all the time, elbows used to ache, shoulders used to ache. All that's gone. Um, the inflammation, as far as I can work out, was caused by all the um, all the toxins in the in the vegetables I was eating. I used to eat a lot of vegetables. Um, I used to have a lot of stomach pains and I've got diverticulosis which is small pockets in the bowel, mainly in the sigmoid colon you, you get those but some people get them right through the colon. And if you've ever had um, diverticular disease and diverticulitis, when the pockets get filled with fibre and poo and they get inflamed, it, it's terrible pain. Um, you end up in hospital on antibiotics, you've got a risk of rupturing your bowel. So for me, not eating fibre at all was, is um, a huge benefit. And despite what they say, you need fibre to poo, you don't. Um, you know, without being uh, too personal, I, I go enough during the day, um, every day. So I eat no fibre whatsoever. So, and they encourage us people with diverticular disease to eat fibre, which doesn't make sense because all that's doing is getting stuck in your colon and drying out and causing you big problems. One night I had a protein ball with some nuts on it, and I tell you, a couple of hours after that, I felt like someone had stabbed me in the left side with a knife and twisted it. And it kept pulsating like that for a couple of hours. I had to drink tons and tons of water to try and flush that little bit of fiber out. And once that was gone this morning, I was fine. So I'm not touching those things anymore. I've learned my lesson. Um, you'll find that um, one of the main things that happen is you, you drop fat. You will lose fat and you will gain muscle because you're eating extra protein. So if your weight doesn't change, you can be sure that you're losing the fat and gaining some muscle. But eventually you'll lose that fat as well, and you'll get very lean. Um, so it's it goes back to that old saying, "Hey, you are what you eat." So if you eat meat, you're gonna you're gonna make muscle. Um, but like everything, you know, I can't say about carnivore that you might eat too much because meat's very filling. And you know you find yourself not eating in the morning because you're still quite satiated from the night before. Um, I generally don't eat till if I'm at work, go to work because I get up early. I'll, I'll probably eat around 10, 10:30. Just have a, a boiled egg, maybe a bit of ham, and then lunchtime we'll have my my bigger meal, which is usually um, resold made made from fatty mince, not from the lean mince, because we, we actually want that fat, it's good for you. It helps to, uh, it helps to, uh, you go to the toilet as well actually, because it becomes a lubricant once your body's um, had enough of absorbing the fat that it needs, um, the rest of it's passed out, so that's why dogs and tigers and lions and things, they don't need fibre, because they, they eat the fat on other animals, so that, that's their lubricant. Um, so what I was saying is I have um, wrist soles, maybe some chicken at lunchtime, not a huge amount, just in a small container. And then that's enough for me till I get home 6.30, 7 o'clock and have a, have a late dinner, which is probably, again, not a huge dinner because it's protein and it fills you up. Um, sometimes I might have a bit of protein powder in some, in some yogurt. Or if I had a workout and I don't feel like eating, I'll just have um, a protein shake. Um, yeah, so there you go. 
and I, I haven't put any weight back on. Um, and you find that if you if you not eating carnivore and you eat carbohydrates, you tend to get hungry because you spike your insulin all the time. So you might eat and then a couple of hours later you want to eat again and a couple of hours later after that you want to eat again. You, you eat all day grazing. Um, but with the carnivore diet, you can you can get away with twice a day. When I'm at home on the weekends, I eat twice a day. It's only because I'm at work and I get a 10 minute break in the morning, a half hour break at lunch and a 10 minute break in the afternoon. It's just habit <laughs> to eat something. But I just, like I said, I just have a small snack and a, and a coffee or something. And coffee's good. Um, a lot of carnivals don't drink coffee, but I drink coffee. It keeps me going, keeps me alert. Um, and I find that rather than put um, full fat milk in there, it's that's better than the than the um, the trim milks because trim milks because they take out the, um, the the lactose. They've got to make it taste good, so they actually put sugar in it. And if you look on the label of the trim milks or low fat milks that you look at the sugar content it's, it's, it's a lot higher so um, but you can have um, cream cream's really good it doesn't have the, the sugars in it um, just have cream in your coffee it tastes good put butter in there we put butter in ours that's extra fat we need um, and it, it has something to do with lubricating the joints as well I'm sure of it because I I just feel that I can um, get a better range of motion. I don't get sore joints anymore. Um, and another big thing that I, I'll, I'll tell you, I was on, um, I used to have trouble with my prostate, which um, I had to go on um, a mini press, which is um, it's like an antihypertensive that reduces the uh, blood vessels around your prostate so that it uh, lets you freeze it up so you can urinate. So I was on those and I, I did get some benefit from them but then starting carnivore I noticed that I was peeing a lot better so I I went off of those pills in the first three months and I have no trouble whatsoever now I feel like I'm like 20 again. Um, I, don't, I don't have that problem that um, most men do when they get to our age. So that's another thing that's a huge benefit. Um, and you just um, you feel more alert you don't tend to have that brain fog that you do when you're on a lot of sugar and carbohydrates you can think a lot more clearly <clears throat> you can probably tell by my older videos I never used to say much I was too um, tired <laughs> um, I don't sleep a real lot I, I know you should sleep 8 hours but I probably sleep six hours but then I can get through the day with six hours. I tend to wake up quite early because I'm used to it and I usually nod off for about 10 o'clock, 10.30 so I, I, then I'm, up, I'm up at 5, 4.30, 5 o'clock just um, finding it hard to get back to sleep again but you know it doesn't really affect me during the day so I get away with that, that amount of sleep. Um, Anyway, um, and for you guys that um, are asking about BioForce videos, I'm going to make another BioForce video um, soon uh, because we still use that on our leg nights, and we, we'll do um, <clears throat> we'll do our leg extensions with this, and our, and while we while we're there, we keep the same weight, and we'll do some lat pulls because we don't have to change any setup on it. Um, but what I want to do is um, some seated rows on it, and I'll, and I'll do a video about that because there's a lot of guys got these um, BioForce gyms because they're so versatile, they're so light. Um, you can move them in and out if they're in the way. You can just pull them out. There's no weight stack on them. They're a great machine. Um, actually, if you had nothing else in here, you could just about do all the exercise on this. Providing you're not, you're not a power lifter, because you want to do um, heavy squats and things like that, which is which you can do, but it's a bit it's not it's not the um, form you want. Um, but anyway, I'll, I'll I'll make a video on that for you, Bio Force guys. Anyway, um, 
Will I try a 205? 205, maybe? Let me try. Let me try. <coughs> Give our 205 a go. I've had a rest, so let's see what we can do. <coughs> Here you go. good actually, a bit, bit better than what I thought it would do, so I'm happy with that, and that's enough for me, because I'm a bit buggered now, because <laughs> I'm getting old, anyway guys, thanks for watching, have a good week, don't forget to like and subscribe, hit the little notification bell for upcoming videos, and I'll see you on the next one, over and out.